Howdy. We're going to be going over heaps and priority queues today. A heap is a data structure similar to a binary tree, where both children must be either smaller or larger than their parent. Heaps are usually constructed with an array list. A minimum heap is a heap where the child values are larger than their parent's value. The maximum heap is a heap where the child values are smaller than their parent's values. Values in a heap do not have to be unique. Examples and math equations. Here, I know this uh, chart looks a little crazy, but what we have is I have an index and a value. This is my array list, and I'm going to show you how it represents a tree. That's a pointer. I need the pen. So at spot 0, we have a 1. At spot 1, we have a 3. It happens to be a child of the value 1. Then we have a 2. So see, 1 is 3's parent, and 1 is also 2's parent. Then at our next index, we have a 4, and then a 6. And then next, we have 7, 5, and 8. This is a minimum heap. Every value is smaller than its children. So 1 is smaller than 3 and 2. 4 is, sorry, 3 is smaller than 4 and 6. 2 is smaller than 7 and 5. 4 is smaller than 8. And as you work your way across the tree, this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are where the values are in the array list. When you're working with a heap, frequently you're going to have to figure out who your parent is or who your children are. That should be a 2. So there are math equations for it. Your parent index is your index minus 1 divided by 2. So let's just look at 6. 6 minus 1 is 5, divided by 2 is 2 point, who cares, because it's truncated, 2. But would a 5 work? 5 minus 1 divided by 2, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. This is how you calculate your parent. If you want to know where your left child is, you multiply your index by 2 and add 1. So here's 3. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That's where his left child is. If you want to know where your right child is, it's your index times 2 plus 2. Heapify. Heapifying up is the process for correcting a heap structure after an add. When you add to a heap, you'll add an item to the end of the list that will not be in the correct spot. Then you heapify up, which is you continue to swap uh, you continue to swap with your parent until you either reach until you become the root or your parent is smaller than you. So we'll see examples of this when I actually do an example and do some ads. So on a min heap, you keep swapping up while you're smaller than your parent. Heapify down. This is the procedure for moving the root element down into in down into a position where it can be removed. Heapifying down is the procedure for moving the root element into, let's mark that out, into the correct position after a remove. So you're going to heapify down after doing a remove into the correct position after a remove. And I'm writing it in because I don't want to restart my recording. OK. Removing an item from a heap. Swap the last item with the root. Remove the last item. Continue to swap the current value, the root, with the smaller of its two children until it either has no children or it is smaller than both its children. If it is smaller than both its children, it is in the correct spot. 
and this is considering a minimum heat. We'll see examples of this one in a little bit. So if this slide didn't make a whole lot of sense, I'm sorry for that, but it'll make sense when I actually show you the process of heapifying down. A heap constructor creates storage for the heap. That's where you'll make your array list. Two string gives you a text version of the data in the heap. Add item adds the item to the heap. Insert, same thing as add, two methods by the same name. Remove returns the item at spot zero or null if the list is empty. Empty tells you if the stack is empty or not. Size, how many items are in it, not stack heap. Get you could access any item at a position, but we're not really going to be using that. And clear, destroy all the data. All right, here's going to be our example. So we're going to make a new heap, which is a array list, basically. So when we add, we add 3, which is at spot 0. Now we add 5, and this is going to be a maximum heap. 5 will go to spot 1, which will be right here. And then we look at our heap, we're like, oh, that doesn't make sense. I added it at spot 1. So you look at your parent, which is your index minus 1 divided by 2, 1 minus 1, 0 divided by 2, 0. My parent's at spot 3. Hey, I'm bigger than him. We should swap. So now your tree is going to look like 5, 3. And now we're done with this line. If we were to add a 1, we would add a 1 to the right of 5, because this would be position 2, and we'd be like, hey, that's pretty good. Now if we add an 8, an 8 would go below the 3. An 8 is at position 0, 1, 2, 3. His parent is at spot 1. That guy's parent is at spot 0. So what you do after adding the 8, you'd be like, who's my parent? 3. Hey, that's not right. We should swap places. So then it's 5, 8. 1, 3. You're like, that's still not right. We should swap. So now you're swapping with the root. Then you become 8, 5, 1, 3. And all that's done. Now we add 2. When we add a 2, we put a 2 right here. The tree still makes sense, so we're good. Now we add a 0. The tree still makes sense, but I'm going to draw it bigger for you before we do our removes. 8, 5, 1, 3, 2, 0. Now what we have to do is we're going to do a remove. When you do a remove, this is the procedure you take. You swap the last item and the first item. So the 0 goes up here, the 8 goes down here. Now it's at the very end of the array list. We can completely take off the 8, so we got the maximum value. But the 0 is not in the correct spot, so we heapify down. We're like, is one of my children bigger than me? Yes. So you swap with the bigger one. So it becomes 5, 0, 1, 3, 2. Then you ask, is one of my children bigger than me? Yes. So you swap with the bigger one. Then it becomes 5, 3, 0, 2, and a 1 over here. Now we're going to do system.out.print remove. This would, have reprint, this would have printed the 8 that got removed. Now when we call a remove, it's going to print the 5 that gets removed. How we accomplish this feat is we swap the item at spot 0 with the final item. We put a 2 up here, we put a 5 down here, then we can remove the 5. Now our tree looks like 2, 3, 1, 0. And now we have to heapify down. Do I have a child that's bigger than me? Yes. So I swap with the bigger one. It becomes 3, 2, 1, 0. Do I have a child that's bigger than me? No. So we print. When we print, we start at index 0 and work all the way to the end. So when we do our print for the heap, we would get 3, 2, 1, 0. And this example is done.
Hopefully, Heapify Up and Heapify Down make more sense to you. Priority Queues. A priority queue is a data structure similar to a queue, but when you remove from it, it returns the lowest value instead of the oldest value. Smaller quantities are higher priority than larger quantities. When two items have the same priority, the older of the two. You, it returns the older of the two. I should say older, not old. Starvation. When priority queues stay full of data, it's possible to have a value with a low priority be continually passed over by items with, high pri with a high priority. When data is not able to make it out of the priority queue, this is called starvation. To solve the starvation problem, all you have to do is increase the priority of items each time an item is removed. This will ensure that low priority items cannot be starved because their priority will increase as they wait. What should I build one out of? We're going to build it out of an array list. Priority queue constructors. Create storage for the heap. This was a copy and paste. Create storage for the priority queue, which for us is going to be an array list. To string um, returns the returns a text version of the data in the priority queue. Peak returns the first item in the queue, null if the priority queue is empty. Add adds an item to the priority queue. Offer also adds a priority item to the priority queue. Set at position x an item. Uh, change the value at a given index. Um, to a different item. Uh, the old value is returned. We're probably not going to use that too much. Remove returns the item at the front of the queue, null if empty. Pull, the same thing as remove. Empty tells you if it's empty. Size tells you how many things are in it. Get x returns the item at position x, which we're probably not going to use. And clear. Now we'll do an example. So if we were to add 3 to a priority queue, and we're going to do this with an array list, so we need a pin. We add 3, then we add 5. 5 is going to have to be put further back because it has a lower priority. If we add 1, it would go right here. If we were to remove something, we get the thing with the highest priority, aka the lowest value. We'd get a 1. If we add an 8, it would go at the back because it's low priority. If we add a 2, it would be before the 3. If we add a 0, it would be before the 2. Then if we remove something from the priority queue, we get the 0. Priority queues are pretty simple. A no star priority queue. In a no star priority queue, I like to create priority queues that store two elements, or priority nodes is what I would call them. It stores both an integer and a string. The integer in this, for this example, the integer is going to be the priority where the string is going to be the data. So if I add three bob, I would get three bob. Now if I add 5 Ted, way over here, we would have 5, I'm just leaving room in case I need it, 5 Ted. 5 Ted is way after 3 Bob. If I added 1 Jim, it would be over here. 1 Jim. Now if I wanted to remove something, the thing with the lowest priority is Jim. So when I remove, I get Jim. But here's the cool part about the priority queue. This guy just got passed up. He didn't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase his priority. His priority is now going to be a 2. This guy's priority is now a 4. When we remove again, we're going to remove Bob. And Bob will be gone. But Ted just got passed up. So he's going to become even a higher priority. 3. Now we're going to add 2 Tina. Tina would be put in front of um, Ted. So actually, let's change this. Yeah, that's fine. Let's add instead of let me, let me change this to a three. So we're going to add two Tina, and then I want to do another remove. Wait while I correct my example. And then we'll finish out the example. System dot out dot 
Writing with this thing's annoying. N S P Q dot remove. All right, now let's continue out the example. So two Tina gets added. So that would be way over here. Two. Tina. And then we add three Jane. Jane. Three. So at the very end of the list, we have Jane three. And she's older than Ted. So when I do a remove, I get Tina, because Tina has the highest priority. Then the other two have their priority increased. Ted is now a two. Jane is also a two. But when I remove again, I get Ted, because Ted has been in the list longer. All right, that should cover things. And let's just mark out Ted. And then Jane would now be at priority one. All right.